Hello, and welcome to another finals game of Fury of Dracula. Still playing Dracula, still recovering from uh, food poisoning, so uh, given how my last few games went, uh, maybe things will go good here. Uh, and such. Always feels weird saying good luck. I should say good providence, but that's a weird thing, and nobody says that. As uh, you know, as a Christian, we don't believe in luck. It, uh, although, like, it's, it's not a big deal to say the term. Um, where you know, it's simply uh, saying that there are things beyond your control, and I hope that that. It happens in a favorable way for you. I mean, that's what the statement means, so, like, don't get too hung up on the specifics. Uh, I've been starting in uh, Central Europe pretty consistently here, but... I mean... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I kind of like the Paris start. Because there's so many adjacencies to it. Although most of them are east. The Paris start is reasonably good if you... I don't know, misdirect Paris. But... It's it's fine. Really, the choice of what direction you go is kind of after the hunters have hit you. And then you want to really decide where you go. I won't uh, be yammering too much again, because this is a Dracula game and there's less to talk about. And I'll be, again, I'm still recovering from uh, the food poisoning, so I'll be, uh, talking less. And it's really bad those first couple days. The worst sick I've been, except for maybe one or two times. I suppose as you get older, your sicknesses are worse. Let's see. Um really want to move to a space where they can literally move to it. Uh, so yeah, we'll go here, throw down a vampire, then maybe go here, we'll form out Mr. X Strasbourg. Um, so, yeah, sure. Yeah, that seems like that seems like a good, uh, good idea. We'll go aristocratic. Maybe we can eat a steak. Ha ha ha, eat a steak. Good move. In fact, I think I may do that. Um, yeah, I think I will bat protect this because uh, they won't find this location. They'll just might find Paris. There's a lot of places next to Paris that they'll want to check. Uh, now, one of them is Strasbourg, uh, which is why it's so important that we misdirect that as soon as possible. forget to do this. Well, I don't always, but I have on occasion for time to do it, and uh, no reason really not to do it now. Well, forming over to 44 could be nice. Okay. Let's see if I have become too predictable. Starting locale. Paris is pretty uncommon. Brussels, uh, yeah, I've guessed Brussels a time or two. Uh, found a Dracula a time or two, guessing Brussels. Often, hunters check east. 
of these days I'm going to surprise everybody and go to Ireland. And then someone will guess me on the first week, because they're like, oh, maybe he went to Ireland. <laughs> but that's what's so fun about playing different people, is that your meta is constantly shifting. And one of the really fun things about this tournament that I have liked... Losing the saboteur, maybe the mob. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the mob's better to lose. In the off chance that, say, Godalming moves into my space, and, and uh, I'd be much rather have a mob there than a saboteur, because then, oh, Mino will show up, and hey, I'll use my mob, hit both of them, get some damage on them. That'll make me feel better than if it hadn't happened. Significant? Not really, but it's better than it not happening. Alright, move on down here. Go down the mob. The hoax. Yeah, we can try, uh, we can try to turn that. Might have a chance to do that. Could use it to eat a steak. Steaks tend to be used early. really good, because once I wolf form, if, say, they have newspaper reports, they will reveal, oh, he was in Paris, and I am currently in 44. That's really far from Paris. And then we hope they collapse on this location, and then we go book it east as fast as our legs can carry us. Although, actually, thematically, what's happening here is not really that Dracula's walking. He's, he's being carried by his group, um, because he has to return to the box um, every uh, day. And uh, so he's actually being shipped around and carried around in his coffin by his cadre of minions. He can move it himself, um, but when he's asleep, he wants his uh, group to move it. Um, which is why, uh, it's one of the reasons why rail travel really isn't a thing, because he literally would have to ship himself, and then he'd be in a box with a whole bunch of boxes, and all it takes is one train mistake for him to basically be trapped on a train station somewhere. And he would be really defenseless in, like, a cargo container, or, like, imagine having to be shipped as luggage. It just, um, he wants, he wants his people to, there to, you know, let him out and uh, warn him if he gets attacked because um, vampires not having people around uh, and then someone just walking up to the coffin and killing him is commonly how vampires go. Alright, we will form. We'll try the hoax. We have a lot of vampires, so we may try throwing down a string of those. I like the idea of that. 
need to remember to misdirect this. Sooner rather than later. Ah, no newspaper reports for him. Of course, usually you get it, you know, by here. And this is the more important one to get. Or maybe he's holding it uh, for this, because he sees it as more important. I can understand that. We're not too scared yet, because we're still in the first week. You're pretty safe in the first week. Maybe thinking whether he's wanting to use a wax cylinders, which would give him some information. It is one of the weaknesses of doing a hide early. Um, it adds another card that can find you into the uh, uh, repertoire of cards that can uh, that the hunters have that can find you in the first week. Other than the three newspaper reports and. Jonathan Harker and Hypnosis, now uh, Wax Cylinders can find you. Aha! That's pretty strong. That's a pretty good use of that card. Yeah. And that means we go to C. Um. That card, um, Hypnosis tends to be saved for ocean travel. Oh, I think I'm going to trick him into thinking that I was over in Austria-Hungary the whole time. Or, or over here, or something. I might trick him extensively. Yeah, no, don't go 58. <laughs> that would be the trap. That would be the mistake. The bad play. The thing you don't want to do. I think that means we have a good chance of ensuring this, and then we get our wolf form back. And that would be a perfectly executed angsty teen wolf. Except that I forgot to misdirect my starting this location. What? How did I forget this? You're probably screaming at your screen right now. Quincy, why did you forget to misdirect 51? Well guys, what you need to understand I'm bad at the game, okay? I would love for someone better than me to make videos, and some people have. Um, but, like, not a lot of videos. Um, and, uh, I just... I just, uh, that's why I made these videos, is I was like, there's no one's making Fury of Dracula videos. Well, when I first started, a lot of people actually are making Fury of Dracula videos now. That's one of the reasons I've been making less. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not very good at this. I mean, into the finals, I'm ranked pretty low right now. Uh, I'm, in, I'm definitely in the bottom half. Uh, do I misdirect it now? No, not now that he knows here. So I guess in that sense, it was like, hey, I did a good thing by not um, maturing, but not misdirecting this.
Once Seward goes to one of these locations, um, he'll, he'll probably at that point have figured out what kind of is going down. Um, oh, I think I have a good chance of maturing this due to the bats. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. desecrate soil here, since I'm going to be going to sea. I'm going to not promote Laris to a Paris to a lair, because I don't want him to know. I don't want him to know that Paris is one of my locations. It's not worth two damage or whatever I would put in that location. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get this, not with a bat protection. I tricked him. That hypnosis has ended up being really good for me. Oh, that feels bad. See, he needs info. Well, he'll, he'll learn some things once he does this. Oh, he goes down to Marseille, so he doesn't. Oh, oh, this is going to go good for me. I think. You can, you can check the video. Things can go really bad for Dracula in an instant if you are not careful. I don't think I need to go to sea right now. I think I'm going to be a little greedy. Oh, definitely not now. Yeah, to 16 with us. soil, which will probably not mature. I, uh, let's throw them, slow them down with the saboteur. I kind of want to save my vampires. Promote it to a lair. No. Give me those points, please. And give me that... Give me that uh, wolf form back. And do I immediately now move to Brussels? <laughs> like, oh, I can't possibly be here. I was here a long time ago. I'm just doing circles in Central Europe. This is why I hate Central Europe a hunter. It's so rough going against Dracula's who just hang around this area. Which is interesting because there's no ports. And so it's another sign that the map was so well designed. So many other people are like, oh, I hate it when, the hunt when Dracula stays on the edge of the map and does all this port stuff. And a lot of advice is like, you gotta stay on the edge of the map. You wanna try to be able to escape to port if things go bad. Escape to sea if things go bad. That's all legitimate advice. This is a nightmare to deal with, Central Europe. There's so many connections. So many little cities. Yeah, okay, I think he's on to me. He, he, I think he's, he's wise to my shenanigans at this point. So I think I'll move here. Now I wish I had this, that saboteur so that I could use him to protect. Please a hoax, why not? With this vampire. So, no, this is desperate soil. They may get this. In fact, this is a pretty high traffic zone. It's a pretty high chance that they get this. This, this is so different than how I thought finals would go for me. I thought I would be winning all of these Hunter games and losing all these Dracula games. The complete opposite has happened. And, uh... Sometimes that's how the meta shifts in this game. One side will start adapting tactics that the other side doesn't know how to deal with. And then, uh... Can I wolf form from here? If I wanted to be, like... Just... Really, really annoying. Whoa!
Wolf form feels like a trap right now. I don't think I want to wolf form. Maybe I just move and hide. Maybe throw down two vampires. I could see that being good. I'm gonna have the vampires. So why not? It'll make them just have a ton of stuff to have to deal with in this area before they uh, go to sea. You know, it makes it where they're dealing with vampires instead of day supply. And scoring the seven points is very significant. Not getting these layers, of course, will make my encounter economy inefficient. Which is something. When you mature a vampire, it means, okay, you may not get your fog. You got seven points. Congratulations. Are you going to be able... Now, you know, fog may be a problem. Um, yeah. No, uh... No rumor to it. Part of me is tempted to put it here to trick them into going here, but... Sure, I like the I like the health points back. Because I'm going to be going to C. Okay, the game's afoot. Do I ambush here? I think I do. I mean, they've totally got He's got to have a stake. or even the fangs. Um, it actually trades very well against several of Dracula Yellow's likely moves on a Reckless Vampire. Uh, and then you follow up with a knife um, and hope that they fang on the second go. But the most classic is the Mesmerize first, because he's like, oh, you're going to try to escape. Or maybe you're going to open with a knife. The opening with a knife is also common. Um, it's, uh, you know, it depends on how you think the Dracula... Uh, plays. So the question is, do we stay here for a turn? I haven't seen horses yet. I think we do. likely reveal my location. And even if it doesn't, it's going to reveal enough information that he'll be able to get on me with a lot of hunters. Most likely. So yeah, we're, we're, we're out. We're going to have to eat ourselves from this situation entirely. Yeah. He's got it narrowed down real. I could wolf form into a hide, which I think might be a big brain play, but I don't think I need to be tricky. I'm going to take my own advice and say most of the time as Dracula, don't be tricky. 
Yes, wolf forming into a hide would be very, very tricky. But, ah, man, I don't know. Like, all he has to do is, like, a scan. Actually, oh, no, he can scan right now and then know exactly where I am. Well, not, not quite exactly. I could be here, or here, or here. We gotta just, we gotta just leave. Without the hired scouts, maybe we do the wolf form thing? Because the number of possible uh, intersections that I could have gone to um, was higher. But with just a little bit of psychology, he'll be like, surely he went for the coast in this circle back on this turn. He wouldn't have been moving next to us to push here. No, I'll make you search. Maybe I feign that it's fog and I want to trap you here. And he won't, uh, he won't deal with it. Don't ambush with the saboteur. We force him to search, and then he'll lose a day action. And that's pretty good. Ah! Ah, man, he's good. Ah, vampire lair. That's a good thing to do during this time. Yeah, this move makes it where I really don't want to go to England. Because you want to... The thing is, all of the locations Dracula moves to, you can sort of reactively go to, except for England. You kind of have to proactively go to England. Uh, we'll lose the rats, and I will lose... one of the bodyguards. Well, actually... Um... Let's lose both bodyguards. Which is such a shame. I really love the bodyguards, and I love playing them. But so often all you get is just two damage out of them, and that makes them as good as rats. Okay. But technically not as good, because at least rats have a chance of sticking around. Alright, you become delayed. You gonna reveal a gun? You are. I... Uh, Dracula's always go North Atlantic. I'm gonna go English Channel. How about that? What do you think of that? Huh? Dracula's never go English Channel. And then I think I'm gonna go North Atlantic. And then I think maybe he'll miscount and think, oh, he has to be in the South Atlantic. And then maybe I sneak up to 29 and be like, hey, 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 but I'm not in the South Atlantic. The other idea is I jump on down to 47 and I try to waste as much time in Iberia so that I can then move to South Atlantic and then hope the North Atlantic's off the trail and move there. That... Mm, that seems unlikely.
Yeah, just like I was saying, just like that, things have, are going uh, badly for Dracula again. Yeah, I have points. And we're about to go into week three, although it's still a while to week three. Really only halfway through week two. Um, and so, yeah, it's... It's tricky. Ugh. I'm very yawny and tired, as I said, I'm uh, recovering from being sick. I could stay at sea a while. Another move is good. Increases the number of locations I could be by one. Right now, I can only be in two spaces, English Channel or North Atlantic. I move again, and the number of spaces I could be is South Atlantic, Irish Sea, English Channel. Um, yeah. Ooh, see, now we may go into England. Well, oh, it's such a death trap. With Heavenly Host? I really don't want to. I lost a tournament game as Dracula um, doing that very thing, although I was coming from Ireland, which I suppose is a little riskier, you could say. They are going to need to deal with this. I know there's not a rumor token on it, but that is a vampire. Okay, so this isn't the worst. What we'll do here is we'll move again, and then move again. And at that point, we've obfuscated. And we'll have taken damage, um, but I don't think it'll be that bad. Because now they've used both of their Find You at Sea cards. Uh, choose an encounter to place on Berlin. I guess I don't want the Saboteur. Uh, okay, that's a lot of vampires. I like that. Do I have two Reckless? No, just the one. Dracula cards in the discard pile, so Night Supplies are likely to be in my favor. But he probably won't want Night Supply. The pros don't Night Supply. And Bugsby is definitely a pro. Though I guess not technically, because I think pro means that you get paid to do it, and I'm pretty sure none of us get paid to do any of this. We just do it for fun. Um, in fact, that's what amateur means in the Latin. It comes from the word amor, which means to love, as in an amateur is one who does it for love, as opposed to a uh, so a professional who does it for profit. Which uh, really goes to show you that when someone is paid to do something, it really shows that they are doing, they are going to be better at the thing than even somebody who likes doing it. So much so that the words eventually had that connotation, and then that connotation became the definition. And that's the power of money. Uh, this, uh, this week's Latin enrichment class by Quincy Morris was brought to you by the letter A for ah, ah, ah. Okay. Dodge, that's, eh, that's not great. It'll do less damage, but that's uh, it's not great. Now, we have established that we mesmerize first. Um, ugh, I don't like any of this. Let's go claws to do damage. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't always draw good. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Pretty bad. No, 
we can try to trick him and go Irish Sea. I don't know what I feel about that. Although, I like the idea of doing donuts in this area. Because he doesn't have money trailer hypnosis anymore. So... Ooh, especially if you're going to do that. Like I said, you have to be proactive about... Um, England. Oh, I should check. Do I have anything I want to get rid of? I don't think so, so I don't really want to layer these. Maybe clone. But no. Uh, yeah. There they go. You may not have um, a, uh, he may not have consecrated ground, and he may not have all the heavenly hosts to do it. But we have seen one heavenly host, and even just the normal consecrated ground here in 35 would really ruin our day. I think he's baiting me into going to the English Channel. I think he's purposefully leaving it open. He's already shown that he knows that he needs to be proactive to go here. He's baiting me because he has consecrated ground. Uh, no. That's what I think. So I'm gonna go for the safer-ish play. We do, unfortunately, basically have to land here. Uh, I think 31 is actually a better choice than 12, because we can still get to 1 from there. Which is really our actual goal. I have a fog, right? Yeah, I have a fog. <sighs> we'll move, drop down a vampire. I think we'll move again. And that will depend on their positioning on what we drop. We haven't seen a forewarned yet. That could easily ruin our game. also stay at sea a long time. The problem with moving again is we'll reveal our location if we do so. Ooh, that's good. Okay, he's posturing for the England play. This is fine. He may have excellent weather. That's the other thing. Uh, that you, Excellent weather is really good for dealing with the UK. Um, was it called the UK in 1898? I think it was. Ooh, someone who knows more about these things should answer that question in the comments. When did it, uh, when did the nation start being called the United Kingdom? Yeah, I'm not too scared about this. Take, what would it take for either of these guys to get me if I went here? A sense of emergency. Move, no, move, chartered carriage. Yeah, they couldn't get me. And I'm still, I still don't know how the game classifies a chartered carriage. Is it a special move? Is it a normal move? Why can you activate that card with either button press? That confuses me. It should be just played as a normal move and takes up your normal 
move, because that's what the card says. And you don't do it as a special action, and it counts as a normal move. That, I think, makes sense, because it makes it a lot more e sort of even with a uh, sense of emergency, in the sense that it combos better with renewed vigor, but sense of emergency is more precise and you take damage. And sense of emergency, a lot of times, is just as fast, if not faster. Probably thinks I'm in 12. Not clone to a lair. I will say no until I see what this is. Aristocratic vampire. Not losing a rumor token yet. Sometimes you can be really tricky in, in uh, Iberia and do circles when there aren't enough hunters committing. Often you have to really commit with good um, counters. Like, I may hide and throw a second vampire down. I kind of like that idea, because then I have a decent chance of killing Van Helsing if he blunders in a room. Okay. That's just an efficiency move. That's not a check move. I don't want to wolf form now because that basically reveals that I'm here. Oh, but he's gonna know. He's gonna know now. Yeah, the scan, he'll know. So I kind of... I don't have to move. Yeah, I'm in Iberia. Congratulations, you got me. So if I hide and throw down a vampire, chances of them finding me not too high, but there's a good chance they go to Alicante. Now here's actually what I want to do. I want to throw down a vampire and have them blunder into me and then maybe kill one of them, and then that's a really good position. And honestly, I think that's my best path to victory. I don't think it's a very good path to victory, but I think it's my best chance right now. Yes. Take my dogs. Bats is nice. And I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you need to take care of this. You need to come and deal with these vampires. I'm at nine health. There's only two of them. I think theoretically, with my vampire backup, I can maybe take two hunters. I mean, maybe not. But I think maybe I can. What does Mina have? A stake? And she has a planned ambush. Now, once these guys start moving in, then, yeah, then it's danger o'clock. Okay. He probably thinks I'm in 12. Or that I just moved to 26. Oh, no, he's moving. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we really don't want him going to Alicante, but he's probably going to go to Alicante. Okay. That is one of the good moves. What's really interesting here is if she goes to Alicante. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. That could have been, uh, that could have been real bad. Now, if we wanted to be tricky, we would jump up to eight. And throw down fog. I'm not...
necessarily against that, except the problem is if we go here and we stay on land a while, they're gonna know. Oh, he didn't go to sea from here. He's... he's up in France. Um... So... And, again, he doesn't have money trailer hypnosis, so I'm really... I really want to go to sea. So that's what shall be. I'll go here. And we'll use some fog. It may not protect us, because forewarned is a thing, but that's just sometimes how it goes. Unfortunately, this is just a movement um, wolf form. It hasn't obfuscated basically at all. Which is kind of sad, but... You don't always get max value out of wolf form. Wolf form has a ton of uses. All of them are good. Being able to get obfuscation and movement and aggression out of a wolf form... Sometimes it happens, but not always or even necessarily often. I don't think you have a three. I think you've been building up horse economy. Yes. Ooh, that's why eight wasn't a good move. <laughs> Although, I guess trapping him in fog would have been nice. Ooh. Yeah, it depends on where Mina and Stan Velsang go. If Mina moons in alone to Alicante, I actually like that. And the want to hit him. If he moves... Ooh, that's good. That's really good for me. Uh, be careful with the horses. Those glue tickets will get you. Okay, you want to go fight my vampires? You should go fight my vampires, Van Helsing. That sounds like great fun. And then Mina can go over there, and then neither of you can move into Alicante, and I can just get out. Although Mina moving alone into Alicante, that would be actually quite good. Um, taking on that 1v1 fight. Get some damage, maybe... Uh, who knows what'll happen in that. Of course, she'll be full health, and generally you want to, like... Use a spy or something? Okay, here we go. So I want to open with the new vampire and then the reckless one. What's great is if Mina goes into here to try to deal with this, she's, uh, she's gonna have to fight with these vampires. Unless Van Helsing does something ridiculous and kills, say, the reckless one. I think it's very unlikely he kills the new one. Though I suppose strange things have happened. That's uh, if you can damage it and then pull off, say, a holy bullets. That could happen. Okay, looks like we'll only be getting two damage out of this. makes it so that Holy Bullet Pistol will no longer one-shot me. So that's good. Decrease. 
correct move now would be for him to run away, so unless I have something to counter that, or at least to damage him as he does so, that'll be a problem. Okay, fangs. That actually wouldn't be bad, because that would heal off of me too. Let's go for that. Yeah. Dodge. Well done. It's very interesting different fights. Whether who's trying to kill who, if someone's trying to escape. And then as the fight goes, when one side figures out that that's the objective of the other side, okay, my best play here is to do strength on the event that he plays a weapon. He might. I mean, he's been aggressive so far, but probably run away now. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, that's generally what you get out of a fight with a vampire. Two to four damage. And that was two damage. And we took one damage. Uh, I don't know what the odds are on how much damage you take in fights against vampires. What's really nice is because the new vampire is the assistant vampire, and normally it's like, oh, that's the easier one to beat. I'm actually going to open with strength because I open with mesmerize so often that I think you think I'm going to open with mesmerize. Haha! Nope. Nope. I am wise to your shenanigans. Ah ah ah. So if Mina moves in, like, Van Helsing could help Mina kill the new vampire, but he really doesn't want to because the new vampire can't mature. The new vampire is basically the minion of the reckless vampire and will be killed when the reckless vampire matures because vampires are super evil and use people and things for their own selfish ends. Um, yeah, vampires are bad, guys. I think that you think I'm going to try something aggressive and I think you might be dodging me. Well done. Well, again, on average, two damage. So I got the average result. Can't complain about that. If he has a stake, then that kind of makes this elementary. Although what's great about a stake is that he will have to fight the new vampire again. And it will be at night. Um, he has planned ambush, and I want to slow you down. Yeah, eat a fog. Oh, that means I can feed, and then uh, void combat, yes. Right? Yeah, uh-huh. I can, I can uh, feed for a turn. That'd be nice. that opportunity. Alright, you're going to take this vampire? Remember, the uh, reckless one is the one on hide. It's so annoying when they're the same type. It's the, so the one that appears first is the one that's on the location. The one that's to the right in the list is the one that's on hide. They aren't like listed in the order of, of how they are on the trail, which I feel like they should be. Um, yeah, I'm going to feed. I th think I did that right. Yes, avoid contact. <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, this is <clears throat> one of the good uses of fog. Speaking of which, I have one in my throat but of the frog variety. Ha, ha, ha. Probably hear that. Uh, layers. Don't accidentally blunder into my own trail. Generally not considered a very pro move.
See, the reason why the threat of ocean move is strong here is because he's having to also deal with this. You can't win on sea until you're first winning on land. Or at least threatening on land. And this is a threat. This, um, this, I would win if this matured. Right? No, I would get to 12. Okay, so I wouldn't quite win if this matured, but it would be, I mean, it'd be 12 points. So any reckless vampire, any lucky reckless vampire could win it for me in that case. Now, Mina has a stake, so she's not really worried about this, but he really doesn't want to be sending Mina this direction when it's obvious I'm going to be going the other direction. Mm, I really wish I could stay on land for one more turn so that I could obfuscate, but no way on earth am I doing that. So we're just going to have another long sea voyage, it seems. Looking for stakes. I hear that. Oh, I hired scouts. Good time for that to come out for me. Of course, there was a bad time for it to come out earlier, so, you know, things balance out over time. It's foggy, avoid combat. I'm a little afraid of that planned ambush. Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to just eat a heavenly host for no good reason. I don't really think I have a good chance of killing her. am I going to have to make? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 3. And I would have to score 2 more points to get that down to 2. Okay. 3 is doable. But... I have to be careful. So the real question is, do I stop in Cagliari? Um... Maybe. I could see value in it. I can't go South Atlantic. Moving to Cagliari would be like, hey, look at me, I'm in Cagliari. He might have an excellent weather with which he could use to get there. I mean, he can go to the Mediterranean right now and, of course, get there. He's lost a horse, which means it's going to take him a little while for his horse economy to get up. So I really feel like there's a lot of value in booking it for this part of the map. Does that mean I go Tyrrhenian, Ionian, and then one of these? Uh, would Will Formby have pull down? Tyrrhenian, Ionian, Adriatic. No. Okay, that's that's kind of annoying. Um. Yeah, I don't like that. Maybe I do land. Throw down a vampire. New one. feels like a risk I don't want to take. I want to move a lot at sea, land so I get my wolf form off cooldown. Ooh, you, you want to fight? Okay, let's fight. I know you have, um... Why are these sandwiches not going off? So, connection problem. I know you have a stake, so you better believe I'm going to ambush for these. Bugging. Speed Telegraph's not in play. I didn't ambush Van Helsing this turn. Stuck. Says it's still. Really 
Ah. Um. Okay, all right, so I will quit. And then we will rejoin. You were previously disconnected. Do you want to rejoin it? Yes! what it is about new vampire vamp ambushes. It's because I'm sort of ambushing both. Okay. So this is replaying. Oh wow, the whole turn is replaying. It might just not let me ambush with the new vampire. Which is kind of sad, but we will try it. Okay, I'll try this one more time. If it doesn't work, then we'll just ambush with the reckless vampire. Okay. All right. Oh, it's just working. It just, you know, the 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 program just uh, had a little hiccup. Looks like it's working fine. He's trying to decide if he wants to play the planned ambush now. I would probably. Really? You want to have Van Helsing join this fight? Uh, I don't know about that. That seems like. Oh, I guess maybe you think it'll distract me. I don't know about that. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna attack Mina. This is a sacrificial lamb anyway. Why are you... This vampire can't mature, what are you doing? You've just g told me that you now have a knife. Okay, alright. Oh, now I know he has a knife. Alright. Well. That's good information to know. And, uh, there are, on are there only two or three knives. There's three knives. Okay, the planned ambush, of course, is the correct play. So she has... I think her other card is a horse. Right? Unfortunately, the game tells you. Yeah. Don't tell me that she only has five combat cards. It should say six. The horse card is in her hand. Oh, wait, no, that's the stick. Oh, right. right so, but still, it's, it shouldn't be giving me that information. Um... Go with the strength. I think you're gonna throw the knife at me. I mean, you might run away, in which case, good job. Oh, I guess there was nothing I could do. Yeah, because of the planned ambush. But this um, revealed to me that she had uh, two knives, and I made her use the planned ambush, and I'll make her use the stake. So these are all resources that are having to be spent while I'm heading over this direction. Cagliari seems 
It's too scary. It's too scary of a place. I ain't, I ain't going there. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna book it. I think this has turned into a speed game. Uh, the fact that uh, one of his horses died, um, and we've seen some chartered carriages used. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna try to outrun him. This is actually very similar to how the book happened. At this point, they knew where he was. Oh, he's traveling, he's traveling, he's traveling, and then it was around this point when they sort of lost him. And they were biding their time, waiting, going by land to intercept him. This is actually how it happened in the book. Um, and then when he landed, there was an obfuscation of where he went here, and they had to split their forces. And then it ended up being Mina and Van Helsing weren't even really in the final fight with Dracula. They were off covering a different location um, and also staking some vampires. Uh, Van Helsing was doing that. Actually, it was, yeah, it was sort of like, a, oh, they were set off alone, and then the Dracula's brides tried to attack them. And then, uh, with some effective use of Holy Circle, they uh, kept them off, and then Van Helsing went and uh, killed them all in the day. Giving Van Helsing the highest uh, vampire kill count of three in the book. Uh, Godalming has a vampire kill count of one. Quincy and Jonathan Harker kind of have a shared kill on Dracula. Uh, so I, I give them a one on that, and uh, Van Helsing has three. Mina Seward, don't kill any uh, vampires. Still very uh, useful. I mean, there's not a ton of vampires in the books, so there aren't a ton to kill. But, uh, yeah. here, actually. I could go here, and then get trapped by Heavenly Host. Ah, that could be fun. That could be a fun move. Uh, Lisbon. Yeah, I don't... To take this aristocratic vampire, I need to get through this deck, get that other fog. Okay, I'm thinking we go Black Sea, and then we go here, and we start to sort of start working our way. And maybe we do the Castle Dracula thing. That might be tempting fate, uh, but that could work, I think. Um, uh, what I really want to do is land with fog, and then when they come after me, they get trapped in the fog, and then I escape them inland with a wolf form. Um, but that may not happen. Okay, we're making them use charter carriages, that's good. Which is sort of a Dracula way of putting it on the bright side. Oh dang it, he has charter carriage. You can really move fast and get near me. And part of the reason I'm doing more of a try to run out the clock strategy is because I matured that opening vampire. Had I not, I would have probably needed to do things a little differently here. Um, because the amount of moves that I need to make are different in the end. In the last game, I did a run-out-the-clock strategy sort of out of desperation because all of my other plans failed, and I was able to barely, barely pull that off. Um, yeah. I may not get my other fog. At least not at a time when it's going to be convenient. It's very likely I get it, and it's like, okay, I can't use it at a port, but... Fog is still really good. Now, they may kill me with um, <clears throat> uh, Consecrated Ground here, which would be a good move on his part. 
Uh, let's see, he could do it with four, so he could do it here, and here, and here, and here. That would be probably the, the good move. Um, and arguably, my best out would have been Adriatic, and then into 57. Um, and then just go for a one-on-one -on -one when the other hunters aren't really near me. But that'd be like a day fight, and then a night fight. Really wouldn't be good. That's probably what he's going to do. Um, and it's a good move. It's a way to win. Um, and uh, that would be a kill. And, I, and there's a ch there's actually an achievement for doing that. Um, and if he doesn't have it, it'll be cool that he'll be able to get the achievement. Um, oh, yeah, I think that's what's happening. Yeah. Although, this also might be he's trying to um, guard against me backtracking into Bari. Uh, because, like, if he moves here and I'm here, it's like, oh, well, goodness, maybe I will do this. Although, that's still so bad. He can just go here and stop me, because I can't go to the Tyranian until... Let's see, this will be here for two more moves. I guess one, two... I guess I theoretically could circle back into the Tyranian. All right, moment of truth. Does he have Consecrated Ground? And he, no doubt, has enough uh, Heavenly Hosts to do it. Okay, tickets are not Consecrated Ground. I like to see that. John Seward, Consecrated Ground. There it is. Yeah. That's, that's, if he's done the math right, he'll win the game here. And that is okay. That's the power of Consecrated Ground. That is the other big anti ocean card. I mean, yeah, Consecrated Ground is kind of an anti everything card. Um, but it's also really good at stopping Pirate Dracula, which is what I'm doing here, by the way, in case you want to know what Pirate Dracula is. This is what it is. And. Yeah, you're going to have to just sort of deal with Consecrated Ground at some point. Uh, does he have all of them? He needs... well, I mean, he needs to put two here, and that I can't wolf form over. Well, this, uh, you don't often get to see this. This is kind of a classic use of the Consecrated Ground, and a classic way to trap Dracula into the whole, oh, he has no moves thing. Um, you know, if I had one more HP, I could survive, but I can't. Um, or I don't. So, yeah. Oh, interesting, he didn't know. Yeah, so if I had gone Adriatic, I could have, uh, could have survived, but nope, I have no moves. And that's gonna be the GG. I tried to do this to somebody once, but they ended up going to the other one. And uh, that's it. Hunters have defeated Dracula. Five points. Kind of uh, average number, I'd say there. Ah, Bugsby finally beats me. I beat him twice in the preliminaries. And he he's pulled out. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the many good uses of Consecrated Ground, and uh, I'm glad to see Hunters winning, and I hope you all have Godspeed.